Right now, the first person in the United States to be diagnosed with Ebola is in isolation in a Dallas hospital tonight. The disease has sickened more than 6,500 people in West Africa and killed more than 3,000. Tonight, the World Health Organization is trying to speed up the use of some experimental treatments as well as vaccines. Now, researchers here at Vanderbilt Medical Center in town are among those who are now closing in on the science behind that. Box 17's Erica Curry shows us why local infectious disease expert Dr. William Schaffner says there's no way this disease will spread here. That's right, Scott and Stacy. He says it's not going to happen in this country, saying our sophisticated health systems can keep this virus contained. Since the disease broke out as an epidemic, in West Africa back in March, experts in infectious diseases have been anticipating we'd see it here in the U.S. Dr. Schaffner tells me someone infected with the disease could just as easily get off a plane and develop symptoms here in Nashville, but he says the general public should not be alarmed. Vanderbilt University Medical Center is among mid-state hospitals going over infection control policy and practicing drills. One of the caregivers could acquire infection? Sure. That's possible. We think it's unlikely if they do everything right all the time. We have to be prepared for that. But spread throughout the community, not going to happen in this country. No way. Meanwhile, UT researchers and a lab at Vanderbilt University are working on both a vaccine and treatment. That work has been accelerated here and internationally. Dr. Schaffner says we could see something as soon as the beginning of the new year. Erica Curry, Fox 17 News.